Hey folks, it's Ardwolf. Welcome back. This is episode 3 of our playthrough of Stellaris as the Empire of Man, and we have a military fleet underway. And let's see how well we do here. We're going to attack this, uh, what are these things? I don't even know what these are. Oh, these are the mining drones. These are kind of a pain in the ass, actually. Let's hope we can take them. We do not have, like, what I would call an optimal... Hostile fleet engaged. Let's check this here. Now, we're taking some damage. But the station... ...is not too bad. I think we're going to pull this out, but we're, we're going to take some damage, too. Oh, we lost a Corvette. These ships don't, uh, don't do anything if we don't uh, send them into combat. A weapon unused is a useless weapon. As they say. Situation log updated. Okay, let's pause for a second here. So we did a lot more damage output than they did. So that's nice. And what do we got here? Time project. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go blow this up. Now what's the closest this uh, fleet here? We'll go here and research that. And let's hope we have enough uh, enough oomph left Hostile fleet engaged. to take this station out. Let's pause here. The emissary. Uh, let's see, where is the emissary? Is here. And we're completely pinched in. So I guess we'll go here and survey this system. See how we're doing. It's going to be a bit slow reducing this. We're going to speed the clock up a little bit here. <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure we're going to win this. If I had to guess, I'd say it looks like we are, because we've got it reduced to half. We might lose another Corvette. But if that happens... Alright, let's slow the clock down just a bit. A vessel of some kind has crashed into the surface of this asteroid. Wreckage from the craft can still be found within the impact crater. Let's research that. So it looks like we're going to take this station down. Got just a sliver of uh, what do I have? Okay, so it's we're down to hull. Situation log updated. Alright. So let's take uh, this fleet back to the closest spaceport to repair. So that's taken care of, and we've got a science ship, which should be doing something. Okay, very good. It's headed there now. So, let's see. So I haven't tried this before. It is investigating now. Make sure we get the right ship highlighted. We're going to research that next. So we can queue up orders. You just have to hit the space bar to do it. That's something that I kind of knew but had more or less forgotten about before. Uh, we don't know what's here. Okay. Science Officer Heather Crutchley has ordered the ISS Emissary to dispatch a probe to investigate the crater on CC4 
11B1. Unfortunately, its braking thrusters failed, and the probe proceeded to smash right into the wrecked ship at the center of the crater. Nice job, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Good work. All right. So we've got some stuff to do in Bonos yet. Yeah, we're working on that. Now, this mining drone observation. Take a science de task a science department with collect. Uh, I guess we'll research this. And let me guess. It's th oh no, it's not. Okay, good. So that's looking good. Uh, we now we should we've had this this thing sitting idle for ages. We're going to build a mining station around Saturn, and then we're going to build a research station over Vesta. And then that will be the solar system fully exploited. Looking at the Sirius system, this is a continental world. Hmm. Pretty good. That 16, 17, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19 tiles. We got a mountain range here that we can't do much with, but there's a tech to get rid of those too. First strike force is in Seoul. This uh, ship here, this is the emissary. It is still surveying. We found some minerals there. Oh, actually, we need to, after this, we need to survey this system. Debris analyzed. We've analyzed the debris in Bonos. Mass drivers, physics research, five points. Engineering research, five points. And 10% progress on mass drivers. Okay, that's great. Let's look at our tech. And uh, we're 17 months at project complete. administrative AI. Nine months on New Worlds Protocol, so that's good. We're going to probably look to make a car, uh, colony ship as soon as we can. Um, and then this has 40 months left, which is a, a long time yet. The drones are remarkably efficient at squeezing ever-diminishing returns from rocks human miners would soon have discarded. Deemed exhausted of all worthwhile mineral content, our top engineers are working on adapting the drones' methodology for use in the empire of man's mining networks and stations, which should improve efficiency, effectively lessening energy expenditure. This sounds super attractive. Ooh, adds a list of mineral-rich planetoids to the situation log. Of a lesser import, is the fact that the drones are not completely silent, contrary to previous assumptions. They emit signal pings, though extremely infrequently and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noise. If there is anyone left to receive these pings, may be a mystery for another time. Okay. Situation log updated. So we'll track these on the map, and then we'll look at the map. First strike force has been fully repaired. Oh, for Christ's sake. All right, well, <coughs> that's going to be a while. So I, hopefully there's not a time limit on this, because that's going to take a long time. All right, our construction ship's going. Our science ship's going. As soon as a science ship is free, which will probably be this one, I will send them down over here. All right, we got our research station finished. First strike force has been fully repaired, which is good. I'd like to think about, oh, you know what? We got a construction ship. We're gonna go to Alpha Centauri and build a mining station. Un we'll unpause because we can. So let's see what we can do here. We have uh, can we upgrade anything? I don't see anything that we can upgrade. Uh, we got this guy. No, there's not really anything we can upgrade right now. 
And aside from that, <coughs> I think we want to wait because we're going to need something like 350 minerals to build a colony ship. So that's going to take a bit of time. And I guess we're going to Sirius first. The reason why we choose Sirius over Alpha Centauri is that Sirius is farther away and it will expand our border more than expanding to Alpha Centauri would. Tick the clock up a little bit. What do we got in here? Yeah, I'm going to stop tracking that for now. We'll, we'll have another look at that in a, like 50 years or something like that. This is Placid Leviathans. We don't care about them. System survey complete. Okay, the emissary is done. We'll send them here to survey this system. It'd be nice if this had a something in it. And we'll send them around this short loop here. System survey complete. Construction ship's done. Complete. And we'll build a... Yeah, no, actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to go to Barnard Star build a mining station here instead. That gives us more more minerals. Alright, we'll pause. We need to pick... Uh, okay, so we just got something. Uh, what did we just get? New World's Protocol. Okay, good. So next, Orbital Hydroponic Farms. Monument to Purity. This is a rare technology. But the space combat... Now, if you don't know, these are like random draws from the uh, from the pile. Uh, now it's a weighted random draw, which means that lower technologies that you don't have yet come more often. But at this point, what I, this is going to take a long time to research, and I don't really want to tie up my research in in that. So uh, let's look at this fleet. What I'm looking for is what is the naval capacity. What is my naval capacity, is the question. So l I guess let's... Oh, okay. So naval capacity is 15 ships. Okay. So that works. Now, let's, let's take a quick look at Earth. And look at the... Can we build the spaceport upgrade yet? Yeah, we don't have enough. Uh, we're missing technology improved spaceport, too. So we need to pick one of these. Um... What I don't see, what does this Monument to Purity do? Uh, I'm going to go with Doctrine Space Combat, because it's, it's faster, and it'd be cool to unlock the rare technology, but uh, I'm less concerned about that. Oh, we got a planet in here that might be suitable for, for human habitation. Tropical world. Uh, I think we can inhabit tropical worlds. We're going to find out momentarily. It'll tell us whether we can or not once we've surveyed it. And I don't have any of the technologies needed. Oh, wait. We got an idle science ship here. Um, we're going to survey. We're blocked off in a lot of places. We'll go here. So what survey system basically does is it queues up a whole pile of orders. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Earth. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life throughout the galaxy, and we would, I'm sure, like to kill them too. Efforts to cata catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds. So this begins the Habitable Worlds Survey Situation event chain. Update. So let's take a look at this. And we need to find eight habitable worlds from this point forward. 
which is fine because that's kind of where what we were trying to do anyway. Hostile fleet. Oh, for Christ's sake! Let's look at this. Oh, look at this. These are mineral drones too. All right. Well. All right, so I guess what we'll do is take this, sh uh, once we're done, we'll go up here, survey this system. We're really, see, this is the, the, the potential issue with the, uh, with the warp lane uh, FTL method, because <clears throat> you don't, uh, you, you can get pinned in like this. I mean, I got, I got a, a roadblock here, I got a roadblock here, I got a roadblock here, and this, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. So that's a problem. And there's more ancient mining drones there. We've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Soval system. These strange objects have been flagged as Gamma Menace until we learn more about them. I guess we have to do that. And that's unlocking our society research. Atmospheric anomaly. Atmospheric re uh, readings from Dokkan 6 do not match simulated System's projections. No research. And the construction ship is idle. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Earth, actually. And the colony ship costs 350. So right now, that's what we're waiting for. The colony ship's not going to build. The construction ship's not going to build anything else yet. All right. So this fleet is actually surveying, so this is not like a necessarily hostile bunch right here. I don't know who that is. Soval 3 is an arid world. And I've already forgotten what it costs to build a colony ship. 350, okay. So it's going to be another two months. Which will go very slowly if I keep uh, pause. <coughs> So we've got quite a bit that we can exploit here, even without... What do we got here? More mining drones. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Dawken 6's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Heather Crutchley is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. So, wow. Okay, that's a hell of a science uh, station right there. And we've got jack and shit for our research station so far. But we'll be able to build another one relatively soon. Or, well, a first one relatively soon. Alright, so let's pause. We're going to build a colony ship. And the science ship emissary is ready to go go here and then we'll go here assuming that we don't get interrupted system survey complete all right so all uh, all right that's not an amazing system but take this fleet special project complete Ooh. after successfully translated their language we have established communications with the Jazgian Star Mandate. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities have been terminated. Okay. So that's interesting. So, what do we know about these guys? Let's find out. Um, they are xenophiles and fanatic spiritualists. So, we do not care for your frivolous morality. I don't really know... Okay, so I speak for Executive Beak of Brown and the wealthy elite of the Jazgian Star Mandate. We have, are always looking for new trading partners along among the many diverse and delightful alien nations we encounter as our ships explore the galaxy. Um, Alright, the news that we've encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has shaken our society to the core. 
Leaked footage of these bizarre creatures is spreading throughout local media outlets across the Empire of Man, and many citizens have been gripped by panic. Rioting has been reported in several cities on Earth. The strange Xenos appear to have achieved a level of technology similar to our own, and they are clearly spacefaring. Whether they regard our great species with fear, hatred, or cold indifference is anyone's guess. We should assume the worst. Of course we should. Uh, okay, it's within somebody else's borders, so... Shit. Okay, well, that pinches me there, too, for Pete's sake. Um, this does not look like it's within their borders, though, does it? Um, and we're pinched here. What do we got? Ancient mining drones. Alright, so let's go to Earth build. Uh, let's take a look at the first strike force, actually. Can we upgrade these fleets at all? I think the answer to that is no. Uh, but what we will do is build another one. Alright, so we're stuck there. Um... So we'll have to go the long way around, I guess. That's fine. Actually, that's... I, I don't actually mind so much having... Let's see what our relationship with these guys is. Minus 50. So that's a new contact. Border friction, slavery policy, xenophobic bigots. That's us. Uh, xenophilia, 20%. And what was the last one? Materialist fools. Yeah, so they don't... Uh, oh, so they have superior... Their fleet power is superior compared to ours. Their naval capacity is equivalent. Their technology is equivalent. That's a pretty much what I thought. Let's look at ours. Administrative AI has two more months, so that's good. All right, construction ship. Hold on a minute here. I'll pause for this. Um, so we want to maintain our edge. But what we really need is... Okay, so... Best thing we got here, some more ancient mining drones, is Alpha Centauri 2. We can colonize that though, so I don't actually want to build anything there. Um, ooh, I can build here. I'm going to build a research station. You know what? I'm going to build. Uh, Alright, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Can I cancel the. Hold on. Can I cancel this order? I'd like to cancel this order. Shit. Well. And I don't have enough to build another one yet. So I guess we're, uh, we're stuck with that. I think I can just click, actually, but that's okay. All right, so we got a planet here, Edamar 4, which is a tropical world. Evading hostile fleet. Ugh. All right. Research complete. We'll pause for this. All right, we have our AI. Gravitic sensors, Sentinel point defense, solar panel network, a mining drone laser. Now, this will remain as a valid option until it is researched. What does it do? Mining drone laser. Uh, mining drone lasers cut through ship hulls as easily as the carved rocky asteroids, so that's nice. Um, survey speed, gravitic sensors. I think we, I think we need to pick that. All right, let's pa unpause. I should say. And we're pretty System close. Survey complete. We're pretty close to having. I need to go here next. Uh, let's see. And I still don't have enough for that. That's okay. We got stuff queued up. We're losing energy credits. Why are we losing energy credits? Why is it suddenly minus 10? So at the moment, what we need to do is build all of the energy stuff that we can. We're building a research station. 
Now we're only a minus five. All right, so science ships. Can we actually go anywhere? Well, we can try to survey this system. We could try to survey this system. Okay, and miraculously, mm -hmm. research station is complete. Let's go here and let's build a... Uh, ma. Why can I not do this? The ship's already performing this order. Okay, good. So that's good. So do we have any other energy? Complete. We do have an energy around Procyon mm -hmm. that we can engage in. Uh, let's see, this system. Do we, what do we know about this? Not much. So, construction ship will go next to Procyon. And I feel like I just abandoned what I was working on. Yep, totally did. Well, I don't know if that actually started that thing or not, but I don't know if, if we can even do that. All right, so it seems like we can't queue that up. I'm not really sure what's up with that. I guess we'll go there first. So Edamar is not within our borders. This is, but we're but we've got tons of ancient mining drones there. So we need another fleet, more fleet action. So let's go to Earth. Go to the starport and build. Let's look at the fleet first. So we don't have any upgrades available. So we're going to build one, two more Corvettes. All right, so we have this Boston class. Uh, this is going to be called the ISS. Cleveland. Where's our colony ship? Oh, we do have a colony ship now. Okay, so we're going to Sirius for this. We're going to go to Sirius 3, and we will colonize it. Go to this colony ship, and we'll pick this guy right... Oh, let's see. Is that a good idea? This gives us good... Uh, Yeah, we'll go there. All right, so our first colony is, is on the way. Yeah, we don't have anything like enough minerals to build uh, more right now, but uh, we'll see what happens on this. So we have our first colony ship is about to land in the, the Sirius system. I'm going to pause and take a break here. I want to thank you for watching. If you're enjoying this series, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of thing. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.